Steve from Filter Max, and we're going to talk about uh, our oil collection trailer. This was originally a um, gear pump trailer, but uh, we have various problems in it, and gear pumps, the hoses will leak and dribble and all that kind of thing, and we came up with another solution, and that was um, a vacuum trailer, and this is a very well-worn and used vacuum trailer right here, and it's described in our book, our alternative energy secrets book that you can get on our website along with plenty of other things. Okay, now back to the trailer. We're starting off at the front here. Starting off at the front here. It's got a toolbox on it for all your hose fittings. You'll need uh, various connectors depending on what you're coming up on. You never know. Couplings and all that and whatnot. So we have a metal toolbox on the front. We've got a what I call a surge tank, and we have two tanks for the oil right here. And the whole thing is powered by this uh, gasoline motor. Now this is, doesn't have to be this motor. This is really big. This was four dollars at the scrapyard when we were building our trailer, so a deal we couldn't pass up. I think we put a carb kit or something in it for ten bucks, and so we got fourteen dollars in our motor. Uh, an air compressor that serves to is both vacuum and pressure. Today, with the tank is already full, so we're just going to use the pressure side, but the, it's, the whole operation would be the same. You just switch to the other side of the compressor. This is nothing, nothing special about this compressor. You just switch to the input side. It'll draw a vacuum on the tanks, and it'll pick up anything, and it doesn't matter what's in it, water or oil or dirt or rocks or car parts. It'll suck it all up, and you won't have any trouble with the pump because the oil never goes to the pump. It's all just on vacuum. It's not... It's just like uh, having a septic tank truck. So anyways, let's go look at the hoses that we've got here. Um, typically, you want a rigid hose or a hose with a spiral in it for vacuuming so it doesn't collapse. Now this is not the kind of hose for, for vacuum collection. This is uh, only good for, for pumping out. It's got the braid. So uh, if you were to use this for vacuum, it would just collapse on you wouldn't get anything. So you have to use a vacuum hose. But because this is a clear hose and you can see a little bit, I'm going to use this today so that we can um, see how we're going to connect it here and you can see the oil flowing. What I'm just going to do is pump this tank out. We use these snap-on connectors or cam lock connectors. The first thing I'm going to do is put a valve on the top and lock it down. And when you got one of these on there you always want to use these cam locks so the valve doesn't come shooting off and oil goes shooting everywhere. Open this job up. Might get a little dribble from our last last time we used it. I'll grab a rag from the front and catch that. And I want to put a pin in that one. I want to find a lid with a pin in it. Like I said, you don't want to let one of these things go without having a pin in it because if it comes off, you'll have a big mess. Bracket towels. The towels are also something you always want to have. Okay, so it's going to come through the hose here. We're going to go connect it into a tank with a similar connector. This is just a bigger one. That's a one inch. This is a two inch connector. Plug it right in. Lock it down. There you go, we'll open up our valve. I'm sure we got something with a pin in it. Well, if we find a pin for the back side, we'll be in good shape. Make sure I got a pin in the back side. Okay, now we're pinned up. Everything looks good. Our valve is open. I'm going to go start this up and um, get some pressure. Starting off 
with um, we're going to be starting off with about 80% 80, 80 of a tank and um, it only took a few minutes to blow it all out. to the end the hose will start to buck because it's got bubbles in it when we see that we'll go ahead and uh, close that valve down and we'll put a vacuum on it and draw all whatever the drool is in the hose we'll suck it all back up into the tank so we don't spill anything okay we've gone down about 30 something gallons Five minutes or something. Okay, we're down below 10. I mean, it's going to start to buck. It's going to start to buck pretty soon from the bubbles coming up in the hose. So I'm going to turn it down as soon as it does. There it goes. Okay, now I'm going to let the pressure off the tank right here in the front. This is going to be loud. Dog hates it. I'm just going to move this over to the vacuum side and we'll just suck out whatever oil is left in the hose so we don't get any dribbles anywhere. Roll my hose up, and now we don't have all that dribble that you get with the gear pump. And we sell a line of gear pumps for those that don't want to build a trailer. But this is just an advantage you got for using our vacuum system. Oh, okay, let it run just a little more vacuum on that. 